So why are we here today, Amanda? Why are we here and uh, where are we? So we, we are, are we we're down at Mill Race Park. And Race Park. the reason why we're down here is because this weekend is the Mill Race Folk Festival. Mill Race Folk Festival, what's that? It is a free event of folk music and it starts Friday and goes all the way through Sunday. And uh, completely free. The only thing you have to buy is a program, which is five dollars. Uh, if you want to know where different people are playing, because there's uh, more than one venue. So. That sounds pretty good. It is. What do you know about L.A. Franks? L.A. Franks? Uh, I think they celebrated like their 20th year last year. They've been around for a long time. It's a family business, right? Uh, no. The guy who used to own Cafe 13 opened it. Well, I guess sort of a family business. Uh, for his kids. So yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. kids would have a summer job. I knew there's a family and, connection. Uh, yeah, the kids I don't really think do much with it. But uh, it's always packed and it's always, uh, always has great food. Do they have it's, any vegetarian food? Um, well, french fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's basically thing. burgers, dog, they have chicken fingers and different types of fries. Alright, so let's go there. So, yeah. Um, so, um, uh, tell us why we're in Cambridge today, Amanda Maxwell. Well, we just talked about the Mill Race Folk Fest, so that That's was right. reason number one. And the second reason is L.A. Franks. And the second reason is L.A. Franks. All right, so what's coming up on the weekend besides the mill race? Ah, so this weekend, since it's the long weekend, I've got lots of movie stuff coming up. So actually in Guelph, there is, uh, at the Mustang Drive-In, there's an all-nighter. So it's $15, and you get four movies. It is uh, Smurfs. Um, oh, what did I tell you? Smurfs. Who, hey, who's your favorite Smurf? <laughs> Papa Smurf. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's the, the different one. So uh, it was, uh, sorry, Smurfs Grown Ups 2. That's the one with um, Adam Sandler and the, the comedians. Yeah. Uh, White House and or White House Down. Uh, that's got Channing Tatum, the new heartthrob. I think that'll suck. I'll yeah, it doesn't saying. sound very good. Yeah. And This Is The End, which is also a comedy about the end of the world. So. That sounds good. Yeah, it could be a good lineup. Um, it's cash only, and uh, you need cash for your snacks and stuff too. So but, it's 15 uh, bucks for, for the car? 15 bucks. Just load yeah. as many people you can in. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's for the car or per person. It's for the car. Is it? Oh, it would be for the person. Why not? Because that's crazy expensive. For not the really. Experience. 15 bucks you is not You spend 12 it. bucks it's, to go to the movies in general. Let's say it's for the car. Oh, well. I'm not 100% sure that I'd have to check their website out, but um, also coming up uh, is uh, the City of Cambridge has their outdoor movie nights, um, and I mentioned that last week. Um, so their second movie is going to be on August the 8th, and that's going to be Mirror Mirror, and it actually has Lily Collins, who happens to be Phil Collins' daughter. Oh really? Yeah, like Phil Collins, a musician. Yeah, from Genesis. From Genesis, yeah. So his daughter's an actress and she's in Mirror Mirror. So. I like Phil Collins. He sings like he drums. <laughs> <laughs> I think he kind of sounds like a synthesizer. <laughs> right? Kind of, uh, it's kind of that 80s feeling. And so. A friend of mine said that way back in the 80s. He sounds like a synthesizer? No, he sounds like he drums. And I've always remembered it because I have no idea what it means. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I just would think drum machine or something. Um, also, also coming up is... Uh, um, Shades Mill still has oh, yeah. uh, movies under the stars there, That's and uh, they've got Brave coming up August 2nd. So on the website I've posted all the August movies. Wow, lots wondering. of movies, eh? Lots of movies, yeah. Movies are fun, especially in the summertime when you can do them outside. Yeah, yeah, they're easy, they're good. Well, for Kitchener, Waterloo, it's all, um, well, the Blues Festival is a big one. It's coming up uh, the yeah, following weekend. Yeah, a big one. Uh, David Wilcox is a favorite of mine, so I have to see him. But a lot of people do talk the bear about cat. Do the bear cat. Yeah, <laughs> do the bear cat. Um, and hot hot papa. 
Yeah. Uh, let's see. And uh, out of town, we got something new this year. It's not new for Baden, but it's new for 365 things to do in Kitchener Waterloo. It's a Baden Corn Festival. Oh, that it's a good. celebration of local food. That's good. Yeah. That's good to celebrate local food. I, I like. like uh, to try to celebrate food every day. I, I do too, but I especially try to buy local food. I like Are going you on a 100 mile to, diet? Not strictly, but I like going out to Oak Ridge Acres, which is out towards air. Um, they have a lot of uh, local produce and meats and yeah. stuff like that, even breads. So I try to go out there. I'm on a 100 foot diet. It's ever in my house, I eat. <laughs> Especially if you don't have to go out and buy it. No. <laughs> Um, so what else is coming uh, up? Well, the only thing that comes to mind is out in Fergus, the uh, Fergus Scottish Festival and Highland Games. Oh, we just had our Highland Games too. Yeah, well, you can't have too much haggis. No, you can't. I can. always say. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Those are all big ones. So this is the middle of summer, so these are all the big festivals coming up. we got some smaller stuff coming up too, like the, uh, I know, the wedding show. In Waterloo Town Square. Oh, yeah. It's a local retail event that's coming up for the first time, so that should be interesting. Wedding shows are always good. People yeah. are always getting married. Yeah. Well, here we've got the uh, Buddy Holly story. Oh, yeah. He's going to start up at uh, the Drayton Theatre, or I guess it's the Dunfield Theatre in Cambridge here. Yeah. And um, that starts on the 7th? It starts on the 7th, and yeah. It runs till when? Uh, end of the month, I think. Yeah, the 31st. And uh, it's just all about Buddy Holly and his music. I didn't know Buddy Holly died when he was 22 years old. 22, yeah. That's a little young to be dying, and uh, just to think, 22 years old and such an impact he's made on so many people. I know, so, it's just a flip of the coin, too. Yeah, it totally is. Um, also coming up, uh, the School of Architecture, um, I guess their second year students always uh, produce a play, like they write it and they star in it and they promote it. Um, so this year it is called Erebus and Terror and apparently it's a combination of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein um, combined with Captain John Franklin's doomed expedition of the Northwest Passage. So I, I don't know what that means. It's a mashup. It's a mashup of something. But uh, all I know is there's three performances on the first, second, and third, and uh, the performance on the third is all sold out. Um, it's fifteen dollars, and um, I posted it on the website, and there's uh, a link there for tickets. Sounds that's good. It. The camera moved, but that's okay. We're at LA Frank's. We're in the parking lot. Lots of free parking in Cambridge, by the way. Yeah, that's the benefit of living in Cambridge. Free parking. It's the best but we thing. fought for it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're going to go to LA Frank's and get a uh, hot dog. That's right. Are you going to have a hot dog? Yep. No, not hot dog for me, but <laughs> hot dog for you. I don't know. It's kind of early. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's it's never too early for a hot dog. Tai Chi people. They call this the B roll. <laughs>